Hey guys, Rober here, and this is my A-ranked build. Uh, soon to be S-ranked, but I hit A-rank and I just needed a break from the ladder. Um, and before I even start this video, uh, yes, Vientos are too strong, but compared to what people are playing on the ladder, they are incredibly underpowered. Because I'm playing the lightest AC you can play, and the lighter you are, the better you have to play. And the opposite is also true. The heavier you get, the easier the game comes. Um, so if anyone wants to say anything to me, I challenge you. Uh, do what I did. Climb to A exclusively playing this. Or some permutation of this. Everything I played was a variation of this with the exception of uh, fi a five-game stint on uh, trying out some kite setups. Um, but I challenge you. Play this. See how it goes for you. Um, if you can replicate what I do, sure. Uh, good for you. But I'm going to take a guess that a lot of you can't. So, you know, try, try, try it before you free talk, man. Um, I'm going to say that right now. Uh, anyways going into it uh tip to butt man pulse armor you need it you you can't be fucking around with assault armor it, it's too inconsistent uh you need you need this this is what wins you games um it's all help, also helps you against terminal armor as well um santai ocelis alula pretty classic for my aggressive builds knocked right here legs you need this to be able to dodge the uh the double zimmerman that people are running on those fat boys and ladder um uh Lammergeier, I'm assuming that's how you say it. The Lammergeier arms, man, these things are awesome for pistols. You got 134 recoil control and an 87 firearm spec and 115 melee. Um, you may be like, man, 87 firearm spec, that sucks. I mean, true, but with Ocelus, it makes up the difference. And you just watch your reticle, you'll be okay. Uh, that recoil control and that melee spec makes more than enough up for it. Trust me. You, you just gotta get a feel for it, man. You'll see. These arms are fucking cracked. Really great addition. Even better addition, man, is this core. Um, look at the stats on this thing. This thing is insane. This is, the best, this is the best thing they've ever done for the game, ever. Uh, Freaking 117 output adjustment, 110 supply adjustment. Look at that. I'm running a Sontai, so I'm, I'm, I have a recharge delay of a quarter, uh, three quarters of a second, and I have 3.5k supply efficiency. Man, this thing rocks. 120 pounds lighter than knocked. Uh, some people are like, man, but the booster efficiency, the booster efficiency. I do not care. When you have this much supply adjustment on a Sontai, and you have this much supply efficiency, this number doesn't matter. The boost efficiency does not matter when you have such good supply efficiency and such good supply adjustment. Uh, it makes up the difference more than enough. It feels faster than it actually is because you have so much energy to play with. Um, just trust me, man. Like, you, you got to try it. In the head, um, you can really run whatever you want here. The two big suggestions I would make is either this one um, or freaking this one. If you really care about this ability, this puts you at 1601. Um, but when I was what I, when I was building this, what I was looking at is I was looking at two things. I was looking at system recovery because I fucking hate zap guns because they do flat damage instead of percent health. They really should do percent health because they, they disproportionately harm lightweights like everything else in the game. But hey, whatever. Um, and also AP because we, we're not even scratching 9k with this setup. But really the big one I was looking at is look over here. The defenses, man. Puts you at exactly 1,000 explosive defense and 1,002 kinetic. Um, if you don't know, if you're under 1,000 defense in any of these stacks, you start taking bonus damage from those items. Um, and we don't have the AP to take bonus damage. We don't really have the AP to take any damage. But, you know, uh, that's the case. When you're on thin margins, man, you want to eke out every little point you can get. Um, part of me wonders if just, like, the straight stability would be a lot better. I kind of think it would be. Um, but I climbed with this setup, so this is what I'm showing to you guys. And then uh, Double Vientos, it's the, it's the fastest staggering handguns in the game. Um... Still, fucking not enough to fight the heavies, uh, but hey, whatever. Huxley, it's more firepower. I really wanted these missiles to work, um, and these missiles do work, but the Huxley's just better, man. It's just uh, an upgrade in firepower, and that's what you need when you're this this squishy and this fucking frail. And then Slicer, man. Um, dagger, more consistent, easier to land, but the Slicer has the firepower, and like I said, this build's all about firepower. Um, you could run Boshos. Also, if you want to swap out the arms, you could run Bosho arms for extra damage. But I really don't like Boshos because you have less recoil and less firearm tracking. So it makes it really tough to fucking actually gunfight when you need to. These arms have just enough of everything for them to be really worth it. Um, and the tips I have for you guys fighting the, the number one meta culprit is this thing right here. Where is it? Right here. This is the number one culprit in the meta. Um, my... Two big tips for you are, when you see him coming at you, right, there's going to be an animation that goes when he's ready to shoot, and it's going to be, he's, he's going to be down, then the arms come up. So it, pretend like just the arms are moving. Zimis are down like this, and they come up, right? That's what you're watching for, and you dash at a 45 degree angle towards them. Um, if they're coming at you dead on, you can go left or right, whichever side has more area to maneuver, and if they're coming at you from an angle, 
um, you dash at a 45 degree angle to the side they're coming from. So if they're coming from the right. they're coming from the right, you dash at a 45 degree to the right, like you're trying to like get past them, right? Um, that is how you dodge these Zimmerman shots. But just know you have to do it perfectly every single time, and the the timing is really really slick. So I would recommend practicing it with a buddy. And the second tip is once these Zimmy shots come out, men, whether or not they hit you or not, which you'd obviously prefer to dodge them, but even if they hit you, as soon as those Zimmy shots come out, you go in and go ham on them with your Vientos. Uh, pop your Huxley up, go ham with the Vientos, do your thing, then get out, and then look to dodge the next the next salvo, right? Um, your goal is to empty their mag, your your mag before they've reloaded, and then get the hell out of dodge, and be ready to uh, juke the next shot, and then go back in with the same deal. Now, if they stagger their shots, like bang, bang, it's a little tougher. Um, and you, you kind of got to play that one by ear. Um, but typically, the double burst is a lot more um, threatening. The stagger shot's more consistent, though. Um, but it's the same deal, man. You can watch the arm rise. So anytime you see the arm come up, just try and dodge. Uh, and then go ham after they shoot, whether it lands or not. Those are the two best tips for this, man. And the last one I would, I would recommend is uh, when they are boosting at you, uh, you if you backpedal in a zigzag and you maintain enough distance, you can be outside of the Zimmerman range because you're, you're, you're moving away from them. But since they're moving towards you, they'll be entering Viento range as they fly forward, if that makes sense. So you can kind of like give yourself an artificial range increase by backpedaling um, and get free Viento shots on them. That's my other tip. Um, this thing is really brain dead and I can't wait for them to make heavies in line with the, every other size and weight of AC. But until that day comes, man, um, I'm gonna keep playing my heart out on this and do my best to fucking cook these guys. Uh, why is my decal not loaded? I have decals on this, but they're not loading. Anyways, um, that's this build that I got to A rank with, man. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys this build right here. This is the fun version. All right, guys, and this is the fun version of my ranked build. Pretty much, it's the exact same thing, just uh, de-optimized so that you can play it against lightweights. Because I won't lie, when you play Vientos against lightweights, man, uh, it can feel pretty dirty. Because um, like other lightweights, man, they just do not have the stagger bar um, to to compete with Vientos. It, it's a tough, it's a tough sell for them. So we're running Cochleats. These things are super slept on, man, and they're really fun to play with. Um, we have the new Gatling, the Shao Wei, uh, instead of the Huxley, and they actually serve a really similar role. And my advice with the Gatling, man, uh, is just, like, when you're in range, use it. Because of the nature of how pistols play, where you want to get in, empty your magazines, and get out, um, the, 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 the heat up and cool down of the Gatling actually is kind of perfect. Um, so it's actually really nice, man. It, it, it cools down way faster than you'd think. Um, and then the Slicer, we just have the Pulse Blade. Uh, so you can do some really sick melee cancels. Although I will say, uh, with the the one thing about this core, man, where you will feel that booster efficiency being 87 is with the melee cancels. Um, but I'm going to include some footage of this against pubs, uh, and you guys can see what you think. This thing's really fun. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. First match of the day. And... This guy actually has kind of a crazy setup. It looks like he's going for uh, the charge uh, sword and a charge Curtis, which is a pretty potent combo. And he has a javelin on his back, which javelin is just really strong in general um, against aggressive builds like mine. And he has a shield, which I think is really neat. Go for the Gatling and sword, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, bold choice to pop armor there, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna wait out his armor. Oh, he's been coming to me, cool. And shoots into a rock. Interesting. I'm gonna assault boost at him. And we'll eat that. And look, the Gatling's already back up. It was overheated, we we'll over that so we don't get hit by the Come on. Oh, not enough range. Gatling's gonna come up in like now and bang. Oh, I was gonna sword him, but we didn't even have, he didn't have the AP. But yeah, I mean, this thing's really fun. Uh, I think I'm gonna pull out the sword and do some melee canceling. I'm gonna try and catch him when he's doing the charge Curtis if I can. That's a damn shame though, cause you can't fire the minigun while you're quick boosting, but the Huxley does shoot while quick boosting. Why Huxley's so strong. Got his ass. Oh, he tagged me with the sword. Nice, dude. 
manage to narrowly avoid that jab. Oh, didn't hit me. Nice. Oh, we're going to eat that, but I'd rather eat it and be down the aggressive. Oh, shit. We're okay. <laughs> and get him with a Gatling. Here we go. It's pretty fun, man. There's like a bit going on with the... Uh, the Gatling is like a lot more interesting to work with than the Huxley, I think. It's more fun. I don't know if this is the bad one that's a circle that I always fall off of, or if it's the other one that they added. Uh, this guy has... Oh, wow. Thrower and Zim. That's not what he loaded in with at first. Oh, it's the circle one. Yeah, this guy did not load in with a thrower and a Zim at first. He swapped when he looked at my build. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Pop scan. We're not even gonna... Oh, I think that thrower hit us. And we're gonna AB at him. And boom, boom, and boom. Okay, still kind of a combo build, but, um, you know, I don't really have a lot of sympathy for someone running who picks a thrower and a zim after he looks at what I'm running. <laughs> you get what you get, man. You chose to counter build me and didn't do it good enough. Oh, that really hit. Okay. We're okay that that thrower went off into the abyss. A, B, and spam this. Yeah. Thrower. Yeah, I think I might be able... If I really time it, I think I can outrun the thrower. Boom, boom. I don't even need the kick. There we go. Good match. Your match. Um, and I looked at this guy's build before we readied up, and it looks like he has double Harris. Uh, uh, yeah, double Harris, earshot, and two tow missiles. Pretty badass setup. Um, I'm not an earshot, an earshot enjoyer myself, man, but like, uh, especially when there's only one of them, I can really respect the grind. Like, I respect the the hustle of, of a single earshot enjoyer, man. Um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. So, like, you already know, man. Oh, wow, those are a lot. Dude, I'm getting pieced up by that thing. What the hell? Yeah, you already know, man. When they get up above you like this. Wow, those Harris's are no joke, man. Oh, shit. Here's shot. Here's another dodge. We're just kind of fish for this. And then get our... Oh, he's too far. Holy cow. Oh shit, we're in trouble. Yo, this guy's kind of. I like. I like this guy's style. All right, I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it in. I, I'm just. I was. I, I realized I spent the first like 15 seconds of that match just like letting him shoot at me for no reason. Well, why am I looking left? From soft. All right, I'm gonna lock it in really quick. I'm gonna like actually play well. Boom, boom, oh shit. Regen my energy and get back on him. Boom, boom, and give me the kick. And stick on him, don't give him a break. And the ear shot, we're falling, it's gonna miss. Um, What you really don't wanna do is let this guy hover above you with the ear shot. The tow missiles, man, uh, sometimes those are kind of a wash. Like I feel like they just hit you randomly from the back. Um, but the ear shot in the Harris's you can totally avoid. Alright, we're just gonna go at him, man. And we're just gonna let this wind up while we're doing it. And, oh yeah, see like that, that's what I mean when I say they're a wash. <laughs> that was an accident, but I'm gonna play it off like it was on purpose. Is this terrain? Yes it is. We don't want to be in that corner though, he's gonna ear shot us. We're just gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna land. Come on, man. And we're gonna back off, get our EN back. AP 
Yeah, that was a that was on a hope and a dream, man. Come on. There we go. You know what? I really respect that guy's build, man. I really fuck with the the dual Harris, and I think the single ear shot is a really tasteful compliment to it, man. Respect. Map. Uh, and we're playing against a Renetsu NGI kite build that kind of suspiciously looks like White Glint a little bit. A little. Uh, Air Garden. I think this guy's a Japanese player, but he has two, uh, two of the pincer missiles as well. Um, I like this build too. It kind of looks like a kite build, but it looks like a kite build that kind of wants to slap box with you a little bit. Uh, oh, brother. Oh, I just trolled. Ignore what I just did there. <laughs> And boom, boom, and give me the kick. Oh, dude, the, the thing sent them so far. Yeah, that's the thing about those duos, man, uh, is they, if you fire them up close, man, it's like Moses parting the seas. You can just run through them. Uh, they're called duos, right? The the pincer missiles, the ones that come in, they come out and then they come in really aggressively. Um, if you can dodge the first half of that arc, or I mean, like, jump through them, you're golden, man. Boom, boom. I think this Gatling's actually kind of, kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like this guy. The more I'm playing with this Gatling, the more there might be something here, man. It requires further testing, but oh, give me it! Ah! Good match, man. The more I play with the Gatling, I feel like there's something here. I just need to test it more. All right, guys, we're giving that dude who was running the AC before a run back, and he, instead of trying to play differently or something, he just decided to make his build fatter and add a bazooka, which is pretty pretty classic Armored Core. Um, like, <laughs> at least Armored Core 6, man. Um, pretty stereotypical. And watch, someone's going to dodge a throw really quick. Oh... No, I'm not. Yeah. And the thrower aids, man. All right, I think I actually got to lock in and focus because the thrower bazooka is such a potent combo against uh, against that aggressive build. It's just like maximum area denial, man. But the reason why you don't see this shit in ranked is because it just gets absolutely raped by everything else. It's like specifically a close range counter. This is what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna play the. Yeah, we're gonna play the. And I don't know how that hit me. Ah, uh, I still got hit by it. Nice. Thrower comes out, classic. We should shred his shield, yep. And we should be okay. No, we're not. And he shielded. That was a good shield, at least I'll give him that. Yeah, nice try, Buckwheat. Yeah, child's play, dude. Come on. Get out of here with that shit, man. Come on, man. If you're gonna, if you're gonna counter build me, at least win. So the trick, man, is just bait out the thrower and then just try and dodge the bazooka on react. That's really my advice. Um, if you can bait the thrower out, you're doing pretty good for yourself. I uh, see now he's being really patient with it. At least he learns, man. Yeah, see now it's a tough sell for me. Here's my plan. 
I'm not even gonna go for any aggressive. Oh, I'm just gonna get in, try and bait the thrower. Yeah. Yeah, uh, jump over it. Boom, boom. And get out of there. Get out of there, 621. Was that a double thrower or am I tripping? Yeah, get out of here, dude. Come on. Oh, kick. And armor. And then we just got him down. And get him down and got him. Yeah, so bait out the thrower, man, and then react dodge the bazook. Um, let's say you beat people that play this shit. Because they, they'll never see that on ladder, because it only beats melee. This guy was running, I think it's like plasmas and a lance. Oh, bold choice, brother. Whoa, hit me! No! Oh my god! That did a lot of damage. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I'm coming at you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm trying to laser sword, by the way. Seeing how. Oh, she's almost dead. <laughs> I'm trying to laser sword as my punish. Just see how I like it. Um, so he's running like plasma cannon, lance. Charge rifle and uh, 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 split missiles. Interesting, very interesting. I respect the hustle, man. Oh, ho! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, no lights coming out. Come on, man. Make it less obvious. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, laser shot's kind of cranked. What? I kind of like this as the punish. It looks cool. GG, man. And he's running uh, something kind of similar, but it has a moonlight redshift, I'm assuming. Because, oh, excuse me. Because who runs normal moonlights and a majestic? Dude, uh, I don't know what it is with these dudes that are majestics, man. Like, it's just not for... Oh, I fucking hate this map. Why does he keep putting us on this one? I have it on random. Come on, kick me, kick me. Oh wow, he's not. Yeah. Oh shit. Come on. Oh, and bink. Oh, that hit me. Oh shit! I'm gonna my die. Oh, am I dead? No, I'm not. I'm not. Watch this shit. Whoa! Hey, good play. I don't know what killed me. Good shit. Uh, it is not very clear. I fucking hate this map. But hey, respect to that guy, man. He played it good. Used his scan, and I'm assuming that was a missile? Maybe a bazooka? I don't know. But he played that mad good. Good for him. Oh, too short. <gasps> okay, we're good. <laughs> Bro. Oh, we just ate that. We're gonna die. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, shit. Perhaps not. Okay, there we go. Dude, sometimes that random pulse blade misses. I think it helps to be slightly above them with the pulse blade. I think it hits a lot better on RJs. Kind of like how the Pile Bunker uh, fist true combo only works on medium and light tetra, not heavy or any other leg. Just really strange, man. Oh shit. We're good, we're good. Oh 
Oh shit, I just ate that. Oh, he got out of it! Oh, I'm in trouble! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! I don't know how that hit me, but fair. Oh, got him with a joust. Oh, don't die. No, 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 no. Go for go for the ledge. Ledge. <laughs> okay, good match, man. I hate this map. Fighting an LRA kite. I think it's kind of funny. He has uh, uh, Balaam a Balaam calling card, but he's not a single Balaam part on his whole AC, man. Uh, we're just gonna do this. This is how you catch kites, by the way. You just stick on them. Oh, I missed. I mean, he's not even really trying to kite, I guess. Oh, I'm trolling. I was too slow. Still hits though. Damn, I kind of fuck with this laser sword, man. Um, I mean, uh, the the code will be laser sword. I've decided, man. I'm just having fun with it. Um, and I like having the freaking charge attack too. Oh, I'm gonna hit him with the charge attack. You think I can pull it off? If I hide, I'm gonna try it. Hold on. I'm like my brain's so burnt out from playing ladder all day. I just wanna have fun, man. I'm I'm gonna hide. Follow me into the city. Ho oh. <laughs> ho. Please follow me, bro. Oh, is he gonna hide? Is he gonna stay there because he has AP advantage? Come on, man. No. Come on, come into the city. Yes. Fight me down here. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming to you, man. It's gonna be cringe. No, that's what I get for trying to go for trying to go for the funny thing, man. Oh, it missed. Huh. Not a matter. We're gonna get him down here. All right, you know what? No, fuck it. We're going for the funny thing. Oh uh, no! What the fuck? I didn't get it. Okay, don't try and melee cancel with this thing, man. But I thought that would have landed, surely. All right, all right, we'll get it next time. We have to get the killing blow with a, a melee cancel. That's my rule for this match. I mean, oh, I guess he just died. Oh, there's the build. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, fellas. Good night.